and welcome to my home and it's a bit different today because I have my lovely friend Juliet here who Hello. you might recognise from Juliet's channel. She's got a YouTube channel which you must go and follow instantly or well not instantly, wait until you've seen the video <laughs> and then there'll be a link at the end. But we've done a video together over on Juliet's channel. What did we do? We did the succulents. We did do succulents. Yes, we did. So today <laughs> we're going to make some cookies and we're going to be making kawaii ice cream cookies because Juliet is the proud author of Oh. oh, Kawaii Cakes, which is available in all good bookshops and also on Amazon. And in this book, what are you showing us? Um, well, I'm showing you how to kawaii fight loads of cookies, cakes, little treats. It just makes everything really fun. Um, adding a face on any food, I think, just makes it really cute and adorable. So yeah, that's what I've done there. So the ice cream, I think, will be really adorable because I've never made kawaii ice creams before. Have you not? No. So I'm going to base this uh, cookie on just a really simple um, butter cookie recipe rather than a sugar cookie. Oh, I don't know the difference. Well, this one, it doesn't have any eggs in it. Right, that's good. It hardly has any sugar in it, actually. And it's just really crumbly. And mm. Not crumbly like it's going to fall apart and you're not going to be able to do your thing but just really nice to eat. Not so snappy as, as sugar cookies. Because they can be a bit like a rock, rock hard. They can, they? Yeah. yeah, which I don't like. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a dilemma, isn't it? Because you want them to be so, sort of substantial enough to hold their, so, you know, especially if it's a gift or something like a little yeah. party favour. So is this kind of hybrid between that and a shortbread? Kind of, yeah. Ooh. That is exactly what it is. It, anyway, it's really simple. You can do it in a big mixer like this, or you can do it with your hand mixer. You can even do this with a wooden spoon if you've got the stamina. But I'm just going to start by beating my butter and my sugar together and I'm not going to beat it like super pale and fluffy I only really want to combine uh, just you know oh. thanks I, I got this it's handmade so just get that on on medium speed and let it do its thing it doesn't spread at all really? this recipe oh. which is really handy I'm going to try this recipe well right. I am aren't I you're literally trying, I'm it, trying right it right now <laughs> oh. right I think we're good it's not gone pale and fluffy or anything. It's still pretty yellowy and buttery, if you can see that. Uh, and then we're going to put some plain flour and some good quality vanilla extract. You were commenting on this, weren't you? It, was, it, it smells was... amazing. It smells really good. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, maybe a little bit more even. And then just get that going. And what happens is it just starts to be like bread crummy. Mm -hmm. Um, and you don't want to go crazy mixing this in here because we're just going to finish it by hand. So, as you can see, it's kind of bread crummy. Now, I'm going to turn it out. Now, this is a bit oh. messy. So, what I want you to do mm -hmm. is just to gather it up uh, into a ball. And it just needs a, li a little brief kneading, okay. Not, nothing like major. Just gather the crumbs. Squish them up together. Lovely. Give Ooh, it a little. It feels nice and it's nice, oh, yeah. Isn't it? So just kind of bringing it together into. Yeah. A bit of this guy. So not too much kneading. Oops. No. Okay. Do you do that with yours to get your hands in? Yeah. I sweep up with yeah, my. Sweep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can probably give it just so a little bit of working. I can actually feel it now, just slightly more. Loosen so, it. Slightly, slightly less crumbly. Yeah. More That'll probably whatever. do it. Yeah. Oh, love it. It's perfect. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's a lovely, chubby little ball of deliciousness. So, obviously, lightly floured. Now, if you can, uh, as my minion for the day, oh, yeah. just roll that out. Yeah. Um, and you don't use guide sticks, do you? No, I use my eye. Well, I always use guide sticks because I just don't want to engage my brain, really. If you don't know what guide sticks are, they're the little kind of dowels that you put either side of the thing that you're rolling so that your rolling pin actually rests on them and doesn't go any lower than that. So, we have our lovely dough rolled out. It's lovely and delicate. Um, and we have these really, really cute little cookie cutters. Um, we, I just got these online. And then we just get chomping. Brilliant. Come back in. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> just looking completely don't, out of the way. I'm not even here. Don't leave me. <laughs> Uh, so, Juliet and I have been chomping away and we've um, only re-rolled this once and now, unfortunately, that will go in the bin, but, but I might just eat a bit so, raw first. Some of you just not bake the scrappy, scrappy bits. Oh, I yeah, used to do that when I was a kid. Well, why only when you're a child? But these just need to be baked at 170 degrees C for 10 or 11 minutes. Basically, you want to check that they're nice and golden around the edges um, and just about to turn golden in the middle, but no further than that. 
Okay, <laughs> let's roll. Let's you bake. Burp. Sorry? No, I didn't burp. <laughs> <laughs> I did a, a oh. clear my throat. And we're back, and the cookies are looking delightful. Gold. Smelling delightful. Yeah, you're quite excited about these. I am those, really excited you? about these. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're just leaving them to cool there while we kind of get the decoration things going. So um, with the kawaii <laughs> cookie style, I, I think the best way of um, doing it is with royal icing. I don't know about you. I do. I think royal icing is really good because you can get loads of detail. It's poppy, it's cartoon-like, yeah. and I think it gets you the best effect for the <laughs> achieving the kawaii action. So um, I've already made up my royal icing, and if you want to see how to make royal icing, don't forget that I did a piping lettering video with a recipe for royal icing on there, and how to make it, adjust it, and make it the right consistency. So go and watch that, but I've done that and I've made it <laughs> in advance and I've already got quite a lot of colours going. All the kind of pastels that you would associate with not just ice cream but also kind of kawaii stuff. Yeah. Um, and now... That sounded like a frog then. Yeah. <laughs> or a chicken. Now we're going to make the, the colour for the kind of waffle cone. So Juliet, my love, yes. I'm going to ask you to um, use some of that. Mm -hmm. it, this is the caramel ivory sugar, sugar pepper. Sugar flare is this one. Sugar flare. <laughs> colour paste. Yeah. I was going to call it colour paste. Sugar colour paste. Colour paste. Paste okay. colour. Yeah, that's what I call it anyway. So. <laughs> it's not a competition. <laughs> um, so if you can just make yours a darker shade of the brownie colour okay. for the features, for the kind of waffly features. Okay. And I'm going to make a slightly lighter one for the flooding. Okay. You don't need very much. It's super concentrated. Yeah. But it's best we'll... just to do a tiny bit because you can always add. Yeah. But you can't take it away. True story. So with the flood out style, you want to have a stiff royal icing in a piping bag to make a kind of border and then you want to have a slightly looser royal icing to flood it. Yeah, to fill it in. It's a bit like kind of colouring in, isn't it? With It is. With, with edible things. It is. I'll tell you, can I tell you a, a top tip? It's not really a top tip, but what I do do if I want a light caramel colour yeah. royal icing, I use unrefined icing sugar. Because it's got a really nice kind of natural cup it will come out kind of about that colour, maybe right. slightly darker, and it's got a natural caramel taste. That's a really good idea, Julia. Yeah. Thank you for that amazing tip. You're welcome. Oh, that's looking good. That's, do you reckon that's about right, or do you want it even darker? I think that's ace. Great. Great. I didn't ruin it. No, you haven't ruined anything, my <laughs> sweet. You can just go ahead and so put all of that in there. For this. And we're both Brilliant. using a number two nozzle, which is my preferred. Mine's completely stuffed. Number two nozzle. Oh, I, I hate need to that. get another that one. Oh, that always happens, doesn't it? So you can put all of yours in there, my dear. Okay. And I'm just going to put one little blob of my icing. Put the blob in. Because that's your blob for your wall. That's my blob. That's my wall blob. Lovely. You don't need. It's crazy. It goes. Little goes a long way. It doesn't really it? does. Yeah, you don't need to have like buckets and buckets of the stuff. So with the remaining icing, I need to loosen this up because this is not going to flood anything at this stage because it is just, you know, it's like a paste. Stiff. It's stiff. So I've got a little jug of water and I'm just going to add water a tiny bit at a time and stir it all about until I reach a kind of ribbon stage. I suppose would be how I'd describe it. Like when you. You, you know, you let it fall off the, the spoon and it kind of settles into the surface. Can I tell you another one of my tips? Yes, please do! She's I like, love your come tip! Back She's again. like, shut up so never I can give you my tip. So, have you heard of the 10 second rule? No, you know, yeah, like no, I have, but not with royal icing. Yeah, so basically, um, 10 second rule, um, if you want it to be perfect for flooding, drag your spatula through the mixture or lift it up and make a ribbon and count between, um, count to 10 seconds. And if it closes together between five and 10, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in a piping bag too, but I'm not gonna bother with a, a nozzle because it doesn't need to be neat in this case. We're just gonna, you know, be coloring in basically. So I've just got a regular piping bag with, without any, any holes cut just yet. Um, otherwise it'll all dribble out the bottom. Can we hold your bag for Oh you? my God, I love it! Thanks, you know, in, in my bakery, we used to have a name for the person that held the bag. Bagmeister. Bagmeister! Because yeah. oh. it's, always, it's always helpful if you've got a friend. You can do it by yourself if you want to, but it's much easier, isn't I mean, it? It's, if you've got... it's helpful in all the ways when you have friends. Yeah. You know, life. Exactly. Support, love, shopping, and yeah. bag holding. Bag holding. That's the, that's the key. Most important. Look at one. that. There we go. Can you, you... you want me to put it through? I didn't want to. 
There we go. You've done a fantastic job. You've done this before. Just a couple of times. Lovely. Now we've got some toothpicks here. Toothpicks are very important in, in so many areas of cake decorating. <laughs> yeah, they you are. Like, you can't do without them. I literally live for these. Yeah. They are so useful in so many ways. For this purpose, they are really useful, first of all, for blocked nozzles. We just poke them in there like that. Oh, it's hard. Make sure that it's all flowing. Just to unblock it, yeah. And they're also really useful for the flooding, which I'm going to show you. Oh, OK. Oh. Well, I don't do that, so I'm looking forward to seeing your way. Oh, my God, see? <laughs> Different. But the, the same. same. Yeah. yeah. We always learn from each other, learning new things every day. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that is why it's so important for you guys to, out there to make friends with each other and answer each other's questions. Well, I love it when I see you guys commenting and, you know, you ask me a question and I've, like, totally missed it but someone else has got in there and answered yeah. it and then you've had a bit of banter yeah. and then you make friends and I love it. Right, so. Right, okay, let's do it. I'm going to take one of my little dudes. It is really straightforward. So actually I'm going to start at the top. So I'll start with my uh, top blob. Yeah. So first of all, I'm going to do an outline of this top bit of ice cream here. Now I've got my um, royal icing flooding consistency one in a piping bag and now not too much, I don't want to like go crazy so that it's actually overflowing and I'm not even bothered that much about getting it to touch the line because oh, I, I know... You do it differently to me, that's interesting. Oh my god, different! Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not even that bothered about doing it oh, neat. Oh, look at that! So with my toothpick I'm just wiggling it into the edges. So as you can see, the wall is the same colour as the filling and it's nice and smooth and that will dry eventually. It does take a little while, it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour. But I can keep going on this because I've got my barrier here. Mm. The next colour that I put on, let's do green. Ooh, why not? <laughs> I want to go quite close to oh. the line. Yeah, and because you've got the two sort of like stiffer consistencies that won't bleed. Exactly. Same again, just roughly fill it and then neaten it up. I'll do the V bit. You do the V and then I'll okay. fill her up. Do you want to have a go at the wiggle? Yeah, I like the wiggle because I don't do it like this, so <laughs> no. Well, it, do, it does work. It does. Oh, she's nearly done. There we go. <gasps> now, Juliet, yeah. would you do your waffle detail now or would you wait for it to dry? Well, you could do either and you get two results. If we do it now, it will, it will sink in and become more at one with the base icing. At one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It will kind of like still have a detail, but it won't be quite as raised. But if you let it skin over, it will be um, much more 3D. All right. 2D. Let's try it let's now. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Let's try it. Yeah. So for the waffle detail, I'm just going to do a few lines and cross them over, and that will create the illusion of an ice cream cone. I quite like how this is looking already with the yeah. slight sinking. Oh, it looks really good. I love it. <laughs> We've been busy. We've been so busy, guys. We've got loads and loads of cookies that look like ice creams, but they're not very... They haven't got any personality yet. Not I yet. Say. Not yet. But... Giving these guys personalities is surprisingly easy, is it not? It's really easy. It's simple, just adding a face to them. Just adding a face? Yeah. And the kawaii style is more than just adding a face. It's all about where you put the eyes in relation to the mouth. It is just like a magical thing that happens when you put eyes on. <laughs> And the eyes thing. need to be kind of quite oversized, they look yeah. quite sort of like childlike. Yeah, and like almost teary. Yeah. There's something kind and of then, and cute then you, about then that. And then you destroy too. them all. Yeah, when you eat, eat them. them. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a few different ways you can put your eyes on to your cookies. Uh, you could make um, sugar paste little rounds if you want, but in black sugar paste and stick them on. You could use a colouring pen. Edible. Edible obs. pen, yeah. Which is such a sharpie. Just a sharpie, yeah. <laughs> Don't use a sharpie, guys. Um, <laughs> Or you could even use royal icing, and we have some of that, yep, because that's a bit of a go the Juliet's that. preferred method. It's generally how I do it. Generally how I show you, don't yes. I prefer painting. I think I mean, they look no quite nice when they're painted, because it kind of um, adds to the kind of cartoony quality. Yeah. I do actually quite like, I've seen some of the ones you've made earlier, and I thought they looked lovely. Oh, thanks, mate. 
Oh, that's right. Nice. <laughs> For the painting jobby, um, I'm just using a small paintbrush. I'm gonna let you do this, because mine will be a right mess. And I have my black food colour paste, and I've also got a little dish here of just vodka. Actually, this is gin. If you don't want to use alcohol, if you're not into that, you can use water, it just won't dry as quickly um, as alcohol, and it, it's fine, can it's I just give not quite... Can top tip again? Yes, you can do, oh my God. It's with you. you. Also, I know. Okay, you can also machine. use um, um, extracts, lemon extract, vanilla extract. Ah, um, are as, they not alcohol based? Um, not all of them. So not yeah, sometimes them. you can use those as well. Oh, and that'll add a little bit of flavour. Get flavour, yeah. Thanks, Julia. That's all right. For yet another fantastic tip. So I am going to just first of all dip my paintbrush into the vodka just a little bit to just loosen up the paste because if you put the neat paste on, it's going to take ages to dry. And that will mean, well, it might not even ever dry, to be honest. And that will mean that when you touch it, it will transfer and blur and smudge. Smudge all over the place. Yeah, so that's not what we want. So I'm going to start by putting my little eyes on. And I'm going to space them about an inch apart. And I'm going to put them on the top blob of ice cream. You're very neat. You're very well, good. I'm not always neat. You can talk to my partner about how neat I am in the home. The answer is not very neat. I'm quite messy. I couldn't be doing that without my glasses, I can tell you. So I've got my eyes, so now I need to put a little face on him. So I'm going to put it in line with the bottom of my eyeballs. Even already, Aww. he is looking like a little dude. Cute. Oh my god, you're so sweet. Mm, look at how cute. It's going to get even cuter because there's something very weird about a all black eye. It's zombie quiet at the moment. Yeah, but at the moment he's definitely living on the dark side. Not, yeah, he hasn't come to life yet. Would you? Be so kind as to pass me the white royal icing. I certainly you? can. That was long, wasn't it? Should I unblock it? Oh, yeah. Block it now. There we go. <laughs> you explode. There we go. Lovely. And I'm going to do a couple of dots on the eyeballs, which is going to bring this face really to life. And it is quite magical when it happens. And dots are really easy. You just keep your uh, piping bag really vertical and kind of go boink. And you can see that, that boink <laughs> in much more detail over on my piped lettering video. So I'm going to do one um, bigger highlight, top right, and a smaller one, bottom left. Oh! And that will... Oh, and I'm going to do I see that what you're both. doing. Yeah, because then, because that means that the light is coming from one direction. Yeah! Not from actually the band one See, direction. I only do mine with one, but I think I really like it with two, because it's kind of, um, it's like that, is it anime, they say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it, look, it makes their eyes look almost kind of like, Even more. they're so cute, they're yeah. crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it, I'm so cute. What and that is say? that. But um, we also, I'm going to let you do this because you use um, the dusts quite often. For yeah, your, I always use the dusts. So I was painting my little oh. like chubby, rosy cheeks on. Can you uh, give this, this, I can what, just what, do what places? Thank you. Do you mind passing me a little bit of my, um, a bit of the kitchen roll there? Because yeah. I find when you're using dust directly, you have to be careful because um, you can get little clumps. So oh. what I do is I rub the brush into some paper. Top So otherwise, it, if, otherwise it kind of flicks off. Um, oh, and that's then just really kind of give it a little bit of a brush. But that is right, it's, it's a really easy way just to add with the little blushy cheeks. Yeah. It really is so cute. So, um, Juliet's also going to show you with the royal icing. Yep, so that when you do it the royal icing, um, you need to have your um, royal icings ready together because what I'm going to do is overlay mine. Overlay. And interestingly, what I do with mine is I do my cheeks first. She does her cheeks first? Yep. Like I said, because I'm a bit clumsy, I might sort of like knock it with my ah. brush. So I do that first. Right. Give it a blow. Oh, shall I do the other? be the blowing. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. And then, so um, again, like you say, just pipe, um, keep it vertical, directly above, give it a squeeze, and then you can kind of control how big you want the eye to be. So I'm going to ah, call it that. You kind of wiggle it within. Start, I do, in the middle, and then just kind of grow the eye to what size you want. Ooh. And then straight away after that, before it skins over, with the white, just inside the black, and just give it a squeeze and pull away. Yeah. And then his little mouth. You can, you can even can do pipe with this. it. Shall I? Is it too fat? A number two. I mean, it does look more delicate with the with the paint. Let's do Shall the paint. I paint. Yeah. Do you want it. me to do it? Yeah. It's teamwork. It's teamwork all it makes the dream work. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It does. And then you can do different faces as well, can't you? Like yeah, you eye, can. Like the winky ones. So you can do winky eyes. You can do completely winky eyes or one winky eye. 
Yeah. Homework eyes. Exactly. You can just, I mean, there's so many different, like, if you actually look online, there's loads of different um, inspiration for kawaii faces. So yeah, if you can, if you just Google kawaii faces. There's hundreds. There's loads. <laughs> and there, there's a one that's like a little, it's like a little W. Oh yeah, I like that one. It's kind of a little teddy face. That features quite a lot on your book. It does, yes. The uh, kawaii Indeed. face. Might have mentioned it a couple of times. I'll not mention that for you. <laughs> Let's not forget that I've also got a book that you can purchase from my website. Of course. Cupcakegemma.com. Along with some very other lovely merchandise, I yeah. must say. We've already, <laughs> we've already experienced the lovely oven gloves. Maybe um, if you're I lucky, like I'll give you a pair. Oh, yes, please. Might have overpromised there, I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so that is basically how you decorate kawaii ice cream cookies. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, please make sure that you check out Juliet's channel which uh, there'll be a link to that on screen either now or shortly. <laughs> um, and also go and check out uh, our video out that we did about the succulent cake, because that's really fun. And, you know, if you're in a bookshop and you're needing inspiration and you have already got the cake book by Cupcake Gemma, <laughs> you could, you know, buy yourself a copy of Kawaii Cakes or go one of Juliet's it. other books. She's got a few. Thank you. you so much. Thanks for having me. It was for lovely. Coming. We should make them talk to each other and say goodbye. Yeah, we should, shouldn't we? Make them little puppets. Okay. Hello! Oh. It was lovely working with you! It was really nice working with you too! Bye bye! Bye! Bye guys! <laughs> we should eat them now. No, we shouldn't. Oh, okay. We need to take pictures yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin Don't the thumbnail! <laughs>